right, let's see. I think it was in 86. Dad was working a string of kidnappings along Route 77. 77. So uh, Akron, Canton, East Sparta. He didn't find much, but the witness did draw this. Kids were taken. The adults that weren't drained had their, uh, their tongues ripped out. Yeah. You know what this is? Mimes. Evil mimes. Yeah, or vampires. Vamp mimes. Son of a bitch. All right, well, if this is the same nest, and if the pattern holds, then they'll target Canton next. OK, it says here that the, they target families that are living outside of town. They're isolated. Kids usually between the ages of 5 and 10. OK. So who in Canton fits that bill? Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a sneak peek of Supernatural series finale to talk about. I cannot believe we only have one Supernatural episode left. I really can't believe it. And I don't think this will be the last we'll see of our beloved show ever. We have been getting tons of hints from Jensen and Jared that I've been covering on my channel that this may not be the last we see of our boys. So we can all have hope in the future. Meanwhile, to get into the sneak peek scene we got today of episode 20, we see the boys working a classic case that may very well be their final monster hunt. They use John's journal, which we haven't seen in forever, to research the monsters and we learn that John have worked this case in the past. We get some of the classic Dean humor trying to identify the monsters as mimes, while Sam corrects him in typical fashion that this simply seems like a nest of vampires, although I'm not really convinced they're just vampires because the MO does not fit like the tongue thing. And that's not something vampires typically do, but the draining does. So Dean jokes that they're vampire mimes. So yeah, they might as well be hybrid or something, but obviously Dean is joking in that case. Everything about this scene reminds me of season one, except maybe the lighting is not as dark, which would have been a nice touch. But otherwise, the music, the classic vibe of the case, the brothers' humor as banter is clearly reminiscent of the good old days of the show, especially the pilot, season one style, my favorite season. So I really like that they stuck to that in the finale, to really go full circle with the show. Something the showrunners have hinted at in recent interviews that this will be an old school style episode and it sure looks like it. Now the monsters potentially being vampires is a bit worrying considering that in a previous episode where the old god Chuck shows Sam a possible ending for the boys by them being turned into vamps and being killed by Bobby in the end if they beat Chuck. Of course that potential future was in 2022 supposed to happen plus it would have happened if they defeated Chuck by trapping him in that scenario let alone the fact that Chuck is defeated and completely powerless now, as Jack replaced him as a new god. So there is no reason to believe that proposed ending by Chuck early on will happen. But just the fact that the boy's final hunt might involve vamps is worrisome enough for me. The other worrying things about those monsters who just look like humans wearing Halloween masks, they don't look that intimidating to me, but in the photos and in the quick shots we see of the trailer, there's a suggestion that the boys might die fighting them. They look like they're cornering the boys in some barn in the shots we see in the trailer. And the narration accompanying that is often about how things will end, watch how things will end, and so on. So yeah, that eerie shot of the monsters blocking the way out for the boys, that looks very worrying to me. So sadly you might get this heroic ending of the boys dying fighting, butch and sundance style, as they themselves noted in that alternate future Chuck showed Sam early on, and J2 themselves discussed in previous conventions. So I really hope I'm wrong about this, but I don't have a good feeling about this series finale because we got a happy ending in the season 15 finale with the boys driving towards the sunset, with a montage of everything happening in the series, all happy stuff, happy memories, and it seems like they're not gonna stick with a happy ending if that's what they gave us in episode 19. What easily could have been a series finale, it seems like they're gonna ruin that in my opinion and kill the boys for good in a series finale. I hope I'm wrong, I hope they don't die for good at the end. So we'll have to wait and see what's gonna happen. But yeah guys, the last episode, the series finale, one more supernatural episode left 
in less than 24 hours. We have tomorrow night. First, we have the documentary at 8 p.m. Eastern, the retrospective documentary about the series. And then at 9 p.m., we get the hour-long series finale, episode 20. And I really hope the boys don't die at the end, and I hope this is not the last we see of the boys. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Subscribe for more awesome Supernatural content. Until next time, not as always, a lot of chick flick moments for sure. No doubt, endings are hard. But then again, nothing ever really ends, does it? I, it came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him. He's like, man, crazy being back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like, let's talk, man. Like, I, <laughs> to all the SBN family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you. And we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.